fine. You want me to fire someone, I'll fire someone. But it's not personal. It's just business. Everyone's really good in Nashville, dude. You got a dream is where you come. I have been researching hair transplants for myself for about five years, you know, really wanting to do this. Um, and I came to Vera Clinic and everything uh, met my expectations and more. and welcome to Vera Clinic. Today, we are so excited hosting a Hollywood star, Ryan Pinkston, who we know from punk pranking and recently we can see him on Young Rock. So, thank you for taking time. Yeah, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Uh, you took uh, the long way to Turkey <laughs> and recently you have your uh, role in Young Rock. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about that a bit? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's a show on NBC. Uh, I'm sure it's not on a streaming platform out here. I'm not too sure which one, but it's a show about Dwayne Johnson and mm -hmm. his life. Um, we all know he's a famous actor and wrestler, um, but we don't know how, a lot of us don't know how he got to that point. Mm -hmm. um, and the show is all about that. You know, his stories when he was a kid to a teenager uh, to, you know, into his 20s. Um, and he has a crazy life, really, really interesting life. And I fortunately get to play one of his best friends that he grew up with and uh, met early on in his life and they're still really close. Mm -hmm. As an actor, yeah, you need to fit into every role. Uh, what does it count for you, how you look like and uh, did it make any differ for you, uh, for your decision to get into a hair transplantation? That's a good question. I, you know, I think for me, uh, the hair transplant really was more about my personal life than it was about my acting career. Mm -hmm. um, as an actor, you know, you change physicality a lot. You can shave your head for a roll, you can grow it out long, your hair, you can you can wear prosthetics and look like a monster one day, you know, it's it's different every time. Mm -hmm. For me, it was more about my personal life. How did you end up um, working with Vera Clinic? Right, so after years of research, I've been looking up, you know, doing hair transplants for a while. I never really, you know, clamped down and decided on something. Uh, when I was out in Australia filming the show, The Young Ralph, um, I had a lot of time when I wasn't working to continue my research. I came across a, a man on uh, YouTube named Amir from Chicago, uh -huh. uh, and he actually also came to Vera Clinic. Uh, I reached out to him. I watched all of his, his videos and his journey. I think at that point he was like, was like six months in, mm -hmm. um, and everything was just it, it was just all signs pointed to coming here. Um, so then I reached out to Vera Clinic after talking to Amir personally, and um, and everyone was so amazing here, and it just made sense, you know. And also the post care was what I was really interested in because in the United States. You get your hair transplant, they send you home with a, a book basically and okay. tell you how to take care of yourself. Here, you know, you get hair washes, you get PRP sessions, you get Oxicure sessions, you get, um, you know, all the vitamins and supplements and stuff like that. Um, so it just made sense. It made sense to make the travel. Cool. Uh, Turkey in general is known for good service and hopefully we could make you feel home and comfortable. Because uh, we know that during such a process, you are away from home. Yes. You need to feel comfortable. Right. Very soon, in a few hours, you're going to have your surgery. Yeah. How do you feel? feel good. I feel excited. I'm definitely excited to be out here. I'm a little nervous, mm. um, but I think that's normal. I think everyone that walks through this door probably is a little bit nervous. Uh, but everyone I've talked to and everyone that works here has made me feel at such ease. And I feel really confident that it's going to be a successful surgery with no complications or um, you know anything to fear. Um, and then soon, in the next week or two, I'll be on my path of just growing hair. And that'll be, yeah. Oh my God, this is, this is really exciting really for both exciting. sides, for us and for you. And if you're ready, let's start it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Thank you so much. Okay, see you soon Thank after. You.
It's a beautiful building. I'm ready for surgery. I've been ready, I was born ready. Well, I wasn't born ready because I didn't think I was going to have to get the surgery, but I am getting it now. So, really excited. All right, um, so we just got done with the extraction part in the donor area. Um, I think it was around 3,500 grafts. Um, and now we are going to do the anesthetic right here. Uh, the anesthetic wasn't too painful. It was a little shocking at first. Uh, but other than that, it was totally fine. Five minutes and then you were, couldn't feel anything. It was easy. Um, now we're gonna anesthetic here and then do the incisions and, uh, and then on to the next part. All right. Hello everyone, so here we are again, two days after the hair transplantation. You had a mega session, yes. that means you had the hair transplantation two days in a row, mm -hmm. two sessions of OxyCure and laser treatment, and yesterday you had the hair wash. Yes. So how do you feel after all? feel great, yeah, I feel great. Um, it's crazy to think that in two days all that happened, um, but it really was, you know, really well done and taken care of. and. Um, but I feel great. I feel really good. Uh, I think the hardest part right now has just been my sleeping. It's weird to be able to sleep at you know 45 degree angle, which is what you have to do. But other than that, smooth sailing, as we say. It's amazing. So I can see from your happy face yeah. that everything went well. Um, what is your whole experience about the treatment, the service, mm -hmm. and would you recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I have been researching hair transplants for myself for about five years. You know, really wanting to do this, um, and I came to Vera Clinic, and everything. Uh, met my expectations and more. Uh, you know, quite literally, people were holding my hands during the surgery uh, when I needed the support. Um, you know, for the five minutes that it might have been uncomfortable, but everything else was amazing. Um, the people here are so kind. The city is beautiful, and I would absolutely recommend if you are going to get a hair transplant or you want one, this is the place to go. It's the best place to come to. I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. So one last question: yeah. Is it worth to come all the way over to Turkey for this? Yeah. I mean, I, I personally am not the person that would have done something like this if I didn't feel like it was worth it. Um, and it absolutely was. The service, the post care treatment, the the surgeon. I mean, everyone from top to bottom here has been amazing. Uh, and again, the city is beautiful. So if you get a chance to come here, you definitely want to go tour around a little bit because it is it's really really pretty. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.